So this might be a little bit of a rough video, but I'm preparing some of the things I want to talk about in our upcoming Figma webinar and just exploring different ideas and what makes sense. And I just thought this was a really cool example of how to use components and how powerful they are. So let's say here you've designed a card and you want the card both in light mode and dark mode, and you're going to be reusing these cards throughout your site. Now your cards are going to have these icons in them. I've gone ahead and just brought in three different icons, but maybe there's 10 different icons you're going to use in these types of cards across your website. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some components out of these to make it really easy to place this anywhere inside of our file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to all of our icons up here. I'm going to select all of those. I'm going to go over here on the right hand side where this little component icon is. I'm going to use the drop down and I'm going to create a component set. Now I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this, uh, we'll call it card icons. And inside of that, when you create this component, it's going to give you a property. So by default, this is property one, and each one of these have a name already. This first one's called Acorn, the second one's called Plain, and the third one's called Alien, because that's what these icons already had them named before we created this component set. So what I wanna do is just click on this, and instead of property one, I'm just gonna call this icon. So we know we're selecting which icon out of the three. This is the Acorn, the Airplane, the Alien. Now here inside of our cards, I wanna replace this static icon with one of our components here. So when we created this component here in our assets library, it's showing up here, it's showing there's three different variants of this icon. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it into my artboard here, and then I'm gonna drag it into my card and we'll delete the original copy of that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in another one, and we're gonna drop it down here. This way, when we grab this card, we can click on this icon and we can see here, we can swap out which icon we're using in here. But I also wanna be able to switch from dark mode to light mode in a similar way. So I'm gonna select both of these cards here. In fact, let's go ahead and name these. This is card forward slash light. And we'll go ahead and rename this and this would be card forward slash dark. Now we'll highlight both of these. We'll go to our components menu and we'll click create component set. You can see it's already named it card. And because we use the naming convention of the forward slash and then the property, it's gone ahead and created these property names as light and dark. All we need to do is give this property a name. So I'm gonna call this uh, color mode. So now we've created a component out of our cards and inside of it is a component of this icon. So if we go ahead and drag out an instance of this card, we can see here that we can change from the light mode and dark mode, but we have to double click here into the icon to be able to change the icon out. I wanna actually be able to change that icon from the card level. So what we'll do is we'll just delete that. We'll go back here to our card. We'll click this plus button on the properties and we'll click from a nested instance. So we only have one nested instance. There's only one component inside of this component, which is the card icons. So I'll go ahead and check that. Now, when we bring in a new card here, we see we have the option to change it from dark mode to light mode. And we also have the option to change this icon here. So you can see how powerful this would be if you spend a few minutes creating these components when you're building out a website that might have five, 10, 50, 100 different pages to be able to have these cards already built one single source of truth here. Every time you need it, you just drag in a copy, you make the changes to the card that are appropriate for this instance, and then you can go ahead and just change this to whatever you wanna be. So this could be aliens rock, and if we click on this instance of the card here, we can of course change this to the alien icon. There's some really awesome and powerful things you can do with Figma, but for people that aren't used to it, it can be kind of overwhelming to go in there and get started. So on January 14th, I'm gonna be doing a webinar inside of our Barfly community. We're gonna be taking a practical look at getting started with Figma. Of course, we're gonna go over all the basic tools on where everything's located and how to get started. But instead of going deep into the weeds of all the power that's inside Figma that you probably are never gonna really need to take advantage of, we're gonna be just looking at the practical things that can get you up and running so you can start doing your designs in Figma and having them ready for production in whatever kind of environment you build in. Now, if you're not already a part of our Barfly community, the price for that is gonna go up from $5 a month to $10 a month on January 1st. But if you sign up now before that price goes in, you'll be locked into the lower price for the lifetime of your account. We got all kinds of cool webinars planned for 2025. I think I have four or five already booked right now where we're bringing in some outside experts to teach us all kinds of valuable things. 
I really hope that the Barfly program can be really valuable for agencies in 2025. So if it's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link down in the comments below so you can take a look and see if it's a good fit for you. Hopefully we'll see you there.